Hello. In this video, I'm going to share with you something very interesting. And that is, what are some of the habits of highly productive people? And if you are one of those uh, people who is highly productive, I'm sure you'll be able to resonate with every idea that I share. And if you want to develop your productivity to a next level, you will find some of these ideas quite interesting. Before we proceed further, click on the link below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, stay connected. So what are some of those habits of highly productive people? First one is they have clarity about their priorities with the habit would be they always prioritize. And once they have the priorities absolutely clear, they create all the plan around these priorities, whether it is uh, personal care, whether it is relationships, whether it is professional development, work, everything, once the priorities are clear, they can create the plans which are matching with those priorities. And next important aspect which comes here, extension of the same habit of having priorities is they set boundaries very clearly. Once they have the priorities clear, they can say yes to things which match with those priorities and they are absolutely uh, confident of saying no to things which are not matching with the priorities they have. So the first habit is they prioritize. Second important habit is uh, they take notes. What does it mean? You are in a learning event and you are having notes. Do you think your absorption will be higher than uh, those who are not taking notes? Perhaps yes. So they take notes. When you are going and meeting someone, and if you take notes, do you think you'll be able to capture the ideas better? If someone is sharing some information with you and you take note of that information, do you think you'll be able to retrieve that information and store that information at the right place? So they take notes. And when it comes to themselves, they take notes of ideas that come to their minds. They take notes of uh, gratitude they want to express. They take notes of how their life is unfolding. All that adds value to the clarity that they have. One of my mentors always says is how he got his clarity over a period of time because he was constantly writing. This is the power of taking notes. Third important habit is uh, they always review. And uh, what does it mean is uh, you are con continuously taking action. And if you don't review, it may become a little too long a period when you realize things, whether they have worked or not. And I have experienced this uh, quite recently when I was not reviewing a certain piece of my work and how it affected me financially over a period of about six months. So they constantly review. And that is when I developed this practice of uh, reviewing it that same piece of information every day so that I can track where my efforts are directed. Then another important thing within that review is there are two important things that you need to consider what worked and what could be done differently. When you are reviewing, let's say you are doing a review after about a week's work, week's progress. Now within that week, you need to consider what worked for you and also need to consider what could have been done differently. And if that period is not weak, it can be actually brought down to daily basis. What worked today? What did not work today? What could be done differently? That is what constantly helps in keeping the pace of improvement so that they remain productive and they can continue to increase their productivity. Next important idea is uh, as they work, as they start putting in their work in any project, they know that there are likely to be challenges. So the word that I'm using here is they anticipate challenges and hurdles as they start working. And once they have that clarity that hurdles can come, because when you start moving on a road, at the start, you may not see any hurdles, but start of the road is or start of any journey is only a very short piece that you can see. As you start traveling, what will happen over a period of time? No one knows. So they anticipate that things can go wrong. Things may go wrong. They don't believe that, 
but at the same time that anticipation is that so that they can be better prepared right and whenever those challenges come up they start uh, looking for solutions rather than remaining stuck in problems the next point is focus they are absolutely focused absolutely focused on the work at hand in fact you can also say it like this they only do one thing at a time they do not open multiple things because they know it can be distracting another dimension uh, which uh, again one of my mentors my teachers my coaches says is which is called shiny object syndrome what does it mean is you start working on a project and you are working with certain ideas which you already have or you have captured from someone and there is another person who pops up in your life and says oh you are doing it this way if you try another way it will be better so what will happen it can attract you at that moment but you don't really know if you shift your whole plan how it can impact so they remain focused and the last thought that i'm sharing is they know that they can be better and that is why they constantly focus on learning and not only that they constantly focus on implementing that learning that is what keeps them on the track of highly productive people mm -hmm.